Hello everyone, welcome to Miss Programming and today we are solving 3sum. So we'll take a simple approach of 2sum for two pointers for this problem, also the same approach we'll use in the 2sum question as well. But the only thing that we need to take care of that the solution must not contain any duplicate triplets, okay? So the question states that we need to find a set of triplets whose sum is equal to 0. So in this case, we have minus 1, 0, 1, which is equal to 0 and minus 1 plus minus 1 plus 2, which is also equal to 0. Hence, these two triplets are in the answer. So now how we'll do that, we'll use the two-pointer approach, we'll put a for loop for the i equal to 0 from i uh, less than n, okay, and so i will start from here, then j will be the i plus 1th element at all points, and k will simply be the last element at all points, so uh, after that, we'll simply uh, start the for loop, and then check that if the sum of these three elements is greater than 0, less than 0, or equal to 0, if it's equal to 0, great, we put these three elements in the answer directly, and we continue to move on. If it's not equal to zero and it's less than zero, then we simply do a J plus plus. If it's more than zero, we'll do a K minus minus. Simple two pointer. Now, the important part of this question is how do we do uh, deal with duplicates? That's the important part. So for that, when we are running the I, uh, the for loop over here with the i at uh, indice, so what we'll do is we'll check if i is greater than zero and, and if nums of i is equal equal to nums of i minus one. If the ith element is equal to i minus 1th element, then we'll simply continue. We'll simply continue and skip this whole iteration, okay? We just don't need to do anything and the for loop would just continue. There is one thing that we'll do for skipping uh, the duplicate elements. Now, the second thing we'll do for skipping the duplicate element is when uh, the sum of these three elements is equal to uh, 0, okay? So, let's say uh, minus 1, 0, and 1 is equal to 0. So, minus 1, 0, and 1 is equal to 0. Now, inside the while loop we need to make sure to move at least one pointer either the j pointer or the k pointer so whatever pointer you move we need to make sure that the pointer moving does not move to a duplicate element so if we're moving k let's move j over here okay let's assume let's assume we need to move j from here okay so if we move j forward it should not move to a duplicate element so we'll just do a check that if j is uh, for one less than k and and j is equal to j is equal to, equal to j plus one if these two are equal, that means a duplicate element, and we do a J++. So we won't move J to over here. Instead, we will move J to over here. Okay, so that's a simple way of how we'll skip the duplicate elements and find the pairs which will have a sum equal to zero. So guys, uh, that's it for this question. Let's uh, by the way, let's just discuss the time complexity of the question. I completely forgot, so I'll just add it at the end of the video. The time complexity of this question is time complexity is equal to big of n log n for the sorting of the array in the start, and big of n square for the for loop and the while loop inside it and the space complexity is big o of one for no extra space i mean the answer is big of n for the vector answer but other than that no extra space so yeah that's it from this video guys meet you in the next one